hello friends welcome to my channel and thanks for watching this video as we have uh, ended one more trading week so welcome to another session of usa weekly market report where we have seen some uh, extremely volatile things that has that's been happening in the market and uh, the overall indices along with other financial instruments as you're talking about the dollar index or you're talking about the oil you are talking about the rest of the commodities are moving quite quite a gusto and there are some good or bad or you know uncertain economic events which is yet to be seen so let's discuss some of the major economic events or let's discuss some of the important news i would say uh, that may impact you know stocks going forward or overall market next week now we have seen a sharp decline in oil prices even though for the short term and it is happening because as you can see on lockdown worries because austria enters into the lockdown and there are you know it, this, this is just about sentimental factor that uh, the basic thing is the overall demand may come down but uh, we have to see this thing and most importantly because we are entering into a holiday season a winter holiday season and uh, this is officially winter months and harsh winter is yet to be seen so energy energy consumption is the key and in extreme cold condition energy consumption will definitely be on the upside so how this is going to help us instead of this lockdown that is a thing which yet to be seen over here apart from that uh let's see what's uh, there as far as the news is concerned now apple with their self building cars by 2025 this may be one of the reason but uh, you know when uh, a company at such a level trading a momentum in short term doesn't matter you know just correlating it with the one day trading move is not justifiable the overall trend is anyhow up um then we have uh, nvidia and the company has recently reported some good numbers basically uh, chip maker companies are now making you know huge amount of profit this is just a uh a blessing in disguise i would say that has happened for the entire sector and they are now having the you know attention of all the global economies or all the it doesn't matter whether you are developed or developing countries because uh, if you are driven by a society driven by technology require chips that's it so these are some important things that you need to look at apart from that the very important indicator which will definitely drive the market and more specifically when the dollar index is very in uh, very strong so the news about the next fed chair person and probably it will happen next week because uh, let me show you so biden has a major economic decision to make and he can't seem to pull the trigger so as you can see the decision would be soon that then it was imminent at one point it was slated to come in four days now it will be thanksgiving maybe so uh, there is a decision which is pending for the next chairperson for fed and whether it's going to be jerome paul or or it will be replaced by leal bernard uh, that we have to see we have to be seen but obviously leal bernard uh, she is a market you know projecting herself as a much dovish person compared to jeram paul because we know uh, his actions in the past in the last couple of years but uh, uh, as far as uh, change is concerned uh because she is in favor of uh, the uh, current uh, stimulus that's been going on and that's why you will see 
a major shift as far as the currency is concerned and if the dollar index move after the fed's decision it's going to be on the downside so stock market will definitely react in a certain way so we have uh, three four days to go uh, i mean la next thursday i think 25th uh, is the thanksgiving day so probably you will get the decision before or at least on that day or maybe the next thursday or friday so next thursday and friday is going to be very important as far as the stock market is concerned now let's go and see how the overall market has reacted because you can see some very sharp moves on both the side nasdaq ended in a green whereas dow jones uh, you know ended in red and with a deep cut i would say 268 points and recently it has touched 36000 so it's nearly 400 points fall uh, within a week apart from that us 10 year yield this has fallen a bit i won't say um, uh, this fallen a lot but a bit but overall uh, trend is stable the vix has again started moving up <laughs> so i mean if there is anything which is dovish obviously you will see a very sharp move and that's what it is indicating and you know if you if you just focusing on vix it will uh, indicate volatility and caution on both the end okay even if you're short or long it doesn't matter because volatility can cut both the ways that's the important thing natural gas you know one must look at the price of natural gas and it has again started moving up and in winter season natural gas is one of the used commodities so one have to be very much cautious about it apart from this we have a usd dollar index and as you can see it has already closed above 96 so dollar index is reacting very strongly so we have to see what's going to happen because it doesn't matter how the stock market is reacting for the time being but the the major concentration should be on dollar index i have said this thing in my last week's market report usa market report and i will reiterate the same thing here that any big and swift change in dollar index could definitely drive the overall stock market so for the time being if dollar index is strong uh, strong we definitely have uh, the repercussions on the stock market and that uh, we have started watching but next four or five days would be crucial and will decide the overall market trend going forward and in 2022 right now let's start with uh, the dollar index itself because it is the important one and as you can see over here so the dollar index uh, has been moving quite sharply and the move is quite i would say very bullish move and technically it doesn't matter what's happening what's the reasoning behind this but technically dollar index is moving very sharply and you could probably see that from the lower end of the range we are uh, definitely visit the higher end of the range so there is a potential or possibility for that right so what we have here is 89.62 and 88.36 and uh, um, if you are looking at the middle section which the dollar index has already crossed right so you have 94.88 and you have 92.98 so this is the middle section so the upper end of the range that we are looking here will be 100.5 and 103 so the kind of move we have here i mean 100 is definitely be a possibility so be sure for some even in short term correction but some sharp corrections going forward so be very much ready for that right now now talking about natural gas 
because it has again started moving higher so natural gas if it sustains above 4.65 or 4.7 right so if it sustain above this level we have a range in between which it is moving here we are so this is the range in between which net price of natural gas is moving on the downside you have a support of 4.65 and on the upside you have 6.16 and the higher end of the range is 6.58 or 6.6 and beyond 6.6 we will have a very sharp move so for the time being we will just focus in between 4.65 and 6.6 and we will uh, reanalyze the trend you know either in case of a breakout or a breakdown but this is also <coughs> define uh, something very important going forward now we have seen we have seen a uh, price correction in brent crude so this is the chart of crude and let's see what's happening over here wti features and <coughs> there is a correction that's been going on and from the highs of so from the highs of 85 dollars so this is the future chart uh, it is now trading at 76 dollars so there is a 9 dollar move and uh, it matters a lot but if you are looking at the trend if uh, a correction has started then obviously it will not stop until and unless it finds a reasonable support so as far as the support level or range is concerned you have uh, 64.83 as your big support and on the upside you have 88 and 90 on the upside so this is what we are looking here as far as the trend or range is concerned and probably if uh, the wti crude future has to go towards 65 then obviously it will have a positive impact on almost all the companies and uh, a, a majority of good movement you will see in the stock market because you know most 80 80 most of the companies have a direct or indirect correlation with oil and oil related products so this is a very important thing that's been happening and it will definitely have a good impact on uh, the company is going forward now coming on to the index so the first one is uh, the dow jones and dow jones has started correcting uh actually it should not but uh, it is correcting that's the thing so what we have here as far as the trend is concerned is something like this so this is the upper end of the range and here we have the lower end of the range so this is the current trend for dollar index current trend or range and you will find two important support levels here we are right so the support levels we are looking here is in between 34357 and 34116 and on the upside you have your resistance Uh, in between thirty six thousand seven hundred and thirty six thousand nine hundred, right now it is in correction modes, and this is what we are expecting as far as the range is concerned. Now, Nasdaq is looking far more optimistic uh, when compared to Dow Jones, and as you can see, whether you have a correction here, no doubt you have some correction, but uh, the overall move is positive. So. as you can see the trend line the overall move or the trend is intact and it is for the 1 hour chart and as you can see uh, if it holds above the support you have here is 15959960 and the way the stock is uh, you know moving and the way it is holding its trend uh, it will definitely move if the trend sustain it will definitely move towards Ah, sixteen thousand eight hundred and seventeen thousand. So you have further legs on the upside as far as the Nasdaq is concerned, and uh, this will uh, get verified next week, uh, and it will come with the decision 
what fed is thinking and who is going to be the next leader as far as the us central bank is concerned now another important thing uh, apart from the chart but about the market is the overall market we are into so we are already heading towards the winter holidays and for the next two months at least okay uh, for the month of uh, whatever days we have left in the month of november entire december and the first at least the first week of january or till january 10th we have very less volumes in the market because most of the people whether you are talking about individual hnis institutions funds companies everybody is in holiday mode and where most of the employees or most of you know everybody is human so they are in holiday so volume will be very less so whatever moves will happen there is no justification for that and sometime it may or may not sustain so be very careful with that you know don't take anything if you understand something if it is for the long term that's a different thing but <coughs> we have santa rally that's also a thing in the month of december or uh, before uh, people started moving towards uh, the holiday season so that is one factor that that is probably driving the market or that will provide you know that will definitely drive the market if uh, there is a change in the fed uh, you know if if it depends upon the us president and how he is thinking for the next fed uh, chairperson and it will definitely trigger a santa rally or not it's completely dependent on his decision so we have to wait but uh, anyhow this is a fact that volume will be less uh, in the next 2 to 2 and a half months so be very specific if you want to choose something for long term that's a different thing but for short term trades you should know your levels very much now as a summary i would definitely say that uh, you know nasdaq is showing something uh, or is saying something which we have to understand because nasdaq is a high beta index and if it is you know taking a leap forward and thinking that there is something positive coming as far as the market is concerned and that's why it has started moving then we have to understand these things and rest we have to wait for the next week because the fed chairperson meet i'm saying it again and again will definitely have a big impact as far as the market next week or you are talking about the santa rally and more specifically 2022 is concerned so this is the end of the video if you like this content do share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe my channel lastly take care of your family and friends